Well, good morning, everybody. Mark Michaels here with Cutting Horse Central, and we're coming to you from day 12 of the NCHA Futurity here in uh, Will Rogers Coliseum, brought to you by North Texas Chevrolet and Great American Insurance. Last night saw round two of the NCHA Seven Ranch Open and Non-Pro World Finals, and what another amazing night of uh, action it was. Uh, we saw everybody kind of regroup a little bit after round one, facing those tough cows, and, and they kind of changed a few little things in their program, and, and we saw a lot more uh, you know, big-time runs last night and, and some that, that were almost big-time runs. Um, but it was a great crowd, another great finals, uh, lots of fun last night. So uh, here's your highlights, your uh, your top results. Ali Good, she made the most of her early draw on Catatat Cat last night, scoring at 227 to win the non pro last night. Uh, Ali, as you, many of you know, have, has already secured the non pro world championship this year. Um, but she's uh, she's hanging it all out there, trying to have a big finish, and uh, she sure showed up last night. So uh, so that was great to see. The big story in the non pro right now is Blakely, Colgrove, and Catman Blue. Last night they marked another 222 to go with their 222 on the first night, giving them the lead in the average right now after two go rounds with a 444. Um, Blakely also moved up into the standings into second place, so she is currently sitting in the reserve champion spot. So uh, if she can kind of hold things together, she's already won over $9,600 in the last two days. Uh, that'll be an exciting finish for her to, to kind of wind out the year like that. Elizabeth Quirk, you know, she hasn't showed a whole lot this year. She was last year's 2018 champion. Uh, she showed Would You and Me Baby again last night, had a little tough luck the first night, and last night she'll put things back together again, looking like the champions they are. Uh, 219 and a half for them. And then uh, Caitlin Rice, she had a 217 last night, so she's sitting second in the aggregate after winning the first night. She's got a 443 right now, so she's in good shape. And then our friend Jennifer Palmer, once again, she, uh, she changed up hats last night. Uh, I thought it was black from where I was sitting, but she told me later it was a deeper shade of purple, so we'll go with that. So uh, anyway, she had another great night, 218 and a half. Like I said, she was one of the, the lower end ones coming into the finals, and she's sure making, making the most of the bright lights here this week. Uh, so congratulations to her and, uh, and Jerry on, uh, on what they've achieved this year so far. Then we moved on to the Open. Well, the Open, there was some dirt flying there, and uh, Taryn Rice and Sierra got you covered. They, um, they hosted kind of a tailgate party, a meet and greet in the stalls before the finals last night. It was great. We saw a lot of people there. The food was amazing, lots of giveaways, had a few drinks, uh, so that was kind of nice to kind of start the evening out, and, uh, and that was great for everybody to kind of get to meet them uh, and, and see their program a little bit. Taryn didn't disappoint. He took the most, or made the most out of his early draw as well, marking a 229, which held uh, the lead for most of the night, but did end up finishing second because Kenny Platt came in late, and he just threw down a 230 on Mom Stylish Player, owned by Robert Trugamba, and, and what a team those two are. I mean, when the going gets tough, little Sprout, it just sprouts right up out of the ground and gets tougher. So uh, it's cool to see that uh, that team you know, put it together on, on the big stage too. Uh, Brett McLaughlin, he's the only open rider with two horses in the finals he scored a 224 on Cataloo last night to uh, to wrap up third place there so that was good to see too um you know great great finals again like i said taryn's got the the finals uh, wrapped up the world championship as far as that goes uh but kenny platt right now he's leading the aggregate he's already won over twelve thousand and seventy dollars in two days that's not a bad little uh, paycheck this week so uh they're in good shape. It'll be fun to kind of watch this thing play out. Uh, they get a few days off now and kind of regroup, let the horses uh, catch their breath a little bit. And uh, we've got some more World Finals action coming to you in a few days. So stay tuned. And uh, we look forward to seeing everybody here. Thank you to Bad Boon Rising for bringing us this highlight and Seven Ranch for sponsoring the NCHA World Finals.